everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. 10 rounds of middleweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Black Mamba's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. ring walk is very interesting here this isn't over the top emotion this isn't a guy with an intense glaring stare just a guy going to do his job Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. You know, there's times we've seen this guy fight, Teddy, where he can really make his opponent look silly, aren't there? Yeah, there are, and usually it's in the center of the ring when there's distance, because, you know, he has great speed, he has great athletic abilities, terrific sense of anticipation, timing. He needs space to bring those things to the party, so to speak. But, you get up against the ropes, all those things go away. They all go south. And now, all of a sudden, the playing field evens for the other guy. Locks that punch. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body. And this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Locks it away. Excellent two-punch combo by Black Mamba. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Locking that punch. Very good defense by Black Mamba. So we come to the end of the round. And that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner. And they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing and remember what set up those big shots. Black Mamba's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Keep it going. Good exchange. He fires back. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Black Mamba's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. <gasps> nice work, the left hand to the head. 
right back to the gut. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, you go straight back, you're going to pay a price. He paid a big one there. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. And that's the end of round Stay two. The power here, Black man. Mamba's corner man, not just tending to him physically here, here but, but really trying to give him back some right? confidence keep after moving. being tagged in that last round. Is doing a good job of being strong on his feet right now. He was rocked in that last round, but his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage standing opposite him. Targeted two punch combo by the Cobra. Black Mamba's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. And that's what fighters do pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Black Mamba's rocked by that punch. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then... Go, oh, no, actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription nice. for him. Really on the mark with that overhand left. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. 90 seconds to go in round number four. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Come 
getting upstairs. Woo. Unload right now. More punches, baby. Punches and punches. Ten Let's seconds see. to Let go in the fourth. Let him go. The Cobra is proving here that you can't hit what you can't reach. You see the movement he's putting forth. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. Right? live action now in what has been a closely contested fight one of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in and he returns on that exchange and now he brings the left hand upstairs He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. That's a forceful two punch combo by the Cobra. Turn fire that time. Let's see some defense. Come on now. Two snapping jabs by Black Mamba. hand scores well for him final 10 seconds of this fifth round oh you see him with the left of the head there and that does it for this round the cobra's cup man is going to earn his pay for sure that is a bad gash and i'm wondering what he's using in there you know you can only use certain things avatine adrenaline and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Good work with that lead hand, doubling up the jab by the Cobra. Oh, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. I shake it off. The Cobra's been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing hey, enough hey, of them. Hey, hey, well, he's throwing them from a little too far right away. He's on, not getting into that punching chamber. He's starting to launch him just a little too soon, and his opponent is warped. Great hook to the head that time. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. 
Puts forth the hook, scores with it. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by the Cobra. All right. You want this fight? Because listen to me, man. You, if you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, It'll be closely contested and hard to score. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. You see how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block? Not able to land the uppercut. Carries the punch, comes back with the hook. The Cobra's making for a very inviting target right now. That cut is much worse than it was just moments ago. What he has to do is he's got to be elusive right now. He's got to get on his horse. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Somehow he's... Look at that. There he goes. He goes down from that headshot. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. The Cobra is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Commits to the straight right. Little head hunting with the left. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by the Cobra. Coming towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds to go. Start of round number eight here. Black Mamba's enjoying a slight lead on your scorecard, Teddy. Only a few rounds left. What advice do you typically give a fighter when you're in a close, tight fight like this and it's coming to the stretch run? Pick up your concentration, you know? Pick up not just the physical level, but the mental level. Pick it up because I remind them, in that other corner, they're telling them, hey, you're a little behind, you better get after them. So if you keep the same effort you were doing earlier, guess what? It's not going to be good enough because that guy is coming with a stronger effort. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Jab, jab, jab. Halfway through this round here. Something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Scored well up top. Black Mamba is able to avoid that punch. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the 
the floor. Uncle Mo has come to big shot there. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five. Three minutes gone by in this round. Relax, the relax. Cobra's corner has to keep him relax. calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Let's go. Come on, you can do it. But Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Turns over the hook after turning away his opponent's shot. Fires right back at him. Black Mamba's giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is start to take away some of that head movement. Keep your back up and He's committed to the combination pushing now. It's working out well up top. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. That's a nice combination. Left hook to the body, right hand. That hook was well off the mark. How about that left hand? A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's gonna have no money in his pocket. And when this fight is over, these guys are gonna have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Black Mamba's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. A solid left hand by Black Mamba. He scored well after being hit himself. Very accurate two-punch combo by Black Mamba. The Cobra's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Just a minute to go in this bout. Look at that combo. 
combination by Black Mamba. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. What a shot. Big hook comes in. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, but you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. decision win by Black Mamba. And that's the way we saw it all night long. The judges agree. It was hard to see it any other way. And a good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore along